Hello, so glad you could join me today on Crafting Kindness. We are going to be doing a daisy belly today from Micah at Resin Courses. And I'm going to do something a little different today. I'm going to use a thinner resin. So today I'm using the Art Pro resin from Resin Pro. It is a 3 to 2 medium viscosity resin. And of course, I will link that as well as Miss Micah's course. Um, down below in the description. So we're going to be using a thinner resin um, and I'm hoping by doing that that I might be getting um, a few more petals or layer of petals in um, than I did before and then it'll close a little bit more. And also today we're going to be doing a little bit different of a color pour. Um, I'm going to mix these two colors I'm going to have two colors overall. I'll have this um, teal blue color that I'm making right now by using my octopus resin inks. And then I'm going to have a yellow. And we're going to um, pour those two colors alternating in one cup and then kind of spiral those into the mold. So I'm not just doing solid um, color in my mold. It's, end up, it's going to end up being kind of a mixed color. Um, and so you'll kind of see that, which I don't think that I've done here on my channel yet so far. So it'll be the first time I'm doing that for you guys. Um, so again, the Daisy Belly, um, is one of Micah's new courses from Resin Courses, which you're able to purchase. And so I don't really share, um, too much about the actual recipe as that's, um, copyrighted material. Um, but again, I'll link that down for you guys to, to access below if you wish. Um, so I'm just mixing up my, my colors here, like I said, and I'm using the octopus resin inks. And then I'll be mixing my white with cast and craft. And then for my push today for the daisy belly, I decided I was going to add in um, some eye candy pigment mica, the nebula green, which is um, a really pretty light, um, light green, yellow color shifting mica. Um, so I'll add a little bit of that in as well. So I will let you just kind of watch as I mix up these colors and I will uh, join back with you as soon as I'm ready to pour. Something really important to note here is that I'm getting my um, decorative center pieces ready. It's this really gorgeous um, kind of flakes from Colorberry. Um, it's Lux Drizzle. I got it on Colorberry's fantastic Black Friday sale. And what you'll notice here is that I've set some aside and I'm just putting a couple of drips of resin in them. And that's because for this decorative center with um, these kind of flakes that are super lightweight um, as well as like glitter, I always mix them with resin. Um, it helps them stick together and it weighs them down so that when I eventually put them in the design, they're not just floating everywhere. Um, that would be a disaster. And then at other times when I'm using like crushed glass type of material for my decorative center, I'm not using resin because those are heavy enough on their own. So again, with these flakes that I'm going to use, I'm mixing them with just a few drops of resin to make almost just like a, a lightweight paste. Um, but then it's heavy enough again, like I said, that it'll sink and not spread. So that is 
just an important kind of tidbit of information that I'm not sure that I've shared before. So I'm getting ready here to mix up my mica pigment and I don't want to use it very much because I don't want it, I want it to tint um, this clear push and give an overall shimmer to my design, but I don't want it to weigh anything down or stop the movement of the design of the daisy belly. So in this design, I'm only using just a little bit of that mica pigment, but as you can see, it still gives it some gorgeous color. But when you see my stick there, when I pull it out, you can tell that it, you can basically only see the stick still. So it's super transparent, but you can tell when it's all together in the cup like that, it still has some amazing, beautiful shimmer effect and color shift effect. So I'm gonna start the process of layering my colors in a separate cup. So I'm simply gonna be puddle pouring in this cup, my blue and my yellow alternating. Now, what you're going to see is that I'm going to leave a little extra yellow at the end because I'm going to dump that in the center last. I want to have a really defined yellow center versus all of my yellow getting blended um, with the blue to make, you know, some kind of green, which is still going to be gorgeous, but I don't think the yellow is going to stand out as much as on its own unless I leave some of it separate to, to dump in by itself. So here I go, I'm just going to simply circle around my cup that I layered my colors in. And as you can tell, um, you know, it has blended quite a bit into green, but there is still plenty of circular striations in there. Um, but again, I want a yellow center, so I'm just taking what's left of the yellow in my cup, which I purposely left some, and I'm just going to dump it in the middle. And now I'm going to go ahead and dump my white. And again, as my note said, this is kind of medium opacity. I don't want it to be too heavy. But I'm just going to hold this low to the mold and kind of um, circle puddle this in. There's a, a, just kind of a discussion that I've been having with some of my crafting friends about whether or not, you know, you dump from high above or you dump fast versus low and slow. And so this is the first time I'm trying this low and slow method. So I don't know that it's going to make a difference, but um, some of my crafting friends believe that this is helping um, achieve some more petaling in our daisy belly design. So that's what I was looking for today by using the thinner resin than the one-to-one -one viscosity resin that I used before. So I figured might as well also add that low and slow technique to help out that extra petaling. So I'm just going to let this close in over the white before I give my final push that's tinted with that mica. And when it's mostly closed up, I'm going to go ahead and push in that nebula green clear push. And then after I do that, I will pray, place my decorative center and we will let the magic happen with the resin. So enjoy watching the time lapse and I will see you for demolding.
okay, let's take this out. I'm anxious to see what it looks like on the other side. You can see a little bit of the puffier cells kind of on the outer edge, but otherwise it looks pretty kind of mixed together in green. So not sure what happened to my yellow besides getting blended. So I'm anxious to see if I still got my yellow center I wanted or if there's any other yellow period. So let's turn it over. <gasps> Yay! I'm so excited. Ah, uh, so cool. And look, I got those little petals. Oh, cool. I have really definitely two rows of those petals. I've got a really bright, sunny, happy center yellow. It is super green on the on the edges, which undoubtedly is where it kind of blended in more, and that's okay. But you can definitely still see my blue teal color, the yellow. You can even see a little bit of the yellow still spiraled in there, um, a little bit towards the center and a little out from the center. But very cool effect. I've almost got that's nah, pretty much two layers. So I was going to say three layers of petals, but I think it really is just two. But it's so pretty. I love all those petals. And using this mold from Pouring Your Heart Out from Julie is her small live edge mold. And I think that really helped with those petals formation too. So I'll be sure to link that down below too. Um, but again, you know, the resin... The mold, it all has to do with how our patterns turn out. So let me know what you think. Um, what do you think of my pouring technique, the colors? I love how bright and happy this is. Thanks for joining me for another episode on Crafting Kindness, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care, everyone.